So we've added a few pages and we've added and imported the Bootstrap library. What we're going to do now is add some Bootstrap features so that we can make our website look a little bit better. So right now I'm in my Rails application directory right here as you can see and we're in the development branch. And remember if you need to switch to that branch all you have to do is type git branch and you can see all the branches that you have and then if you want to choose a certain branch in this case we want to be on the development branch you just type git checkout development okay so now what I'm gonna do is pull up the bootstrap website here so if we go to getbootstrap.com okay now their website might change over time but I want you to know that their website is really helpful you've got a lot of great examples that you can look at here so for example we can look at this link here and see some of these examples and just see what you can do with bootstrap okay so now that we've imported the bootstrap library we can achieve all kinds of results like this very easily and I'll show you how that's done so if you just kind of take a look at some of these examples you'll get a sense of what is capable here okay so we can create things like this and even things like this and we can get all kinds of really interesting color schemes all these tables these you know navigation bars on the left and at the top so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a navigation bar to the top of our site that looks something like this at the top of this side this black bar here so the way we can do that let's go back to their main site here and we'll click on this components part here again if this is different for you that's okay but just try and follow along for now and then what we'll do is look here on the right and we can see this nav bar section here okay and what we're gonna do is try to create a nav bar that looks something like this right here and it's pretty easy the great thing about this website is that they've got all of this code for you that you can copy and paste now this is a pretty lengthy piece of code to kinda of copy over and what it would do is it would give us this result on our website what we see up here at the top so instead of grabbing all that I'm gonna grab a stripped down version of it so I've already kind of coded that for you and we'll go ahead and add it here so this is what we need to do let's start up our rail server first so we can see what our site looks like currently so we'll say down here bundle execute rails server and hit enter and now that our server is running all we have to do is click preview and then port 3000 okay so here we go we're on the home page now let's go back here and let's find the layout file okay so this file that I'm looking for it's under app and then views layouts and then application we can have many different layouts if we want and we can pick and choose when they show up but let's not worry about that right now whenever we add HTML to this particular layout file the way our sites configured right now that means that the changes here are going to show up site-wide no matter which page we're on whether we're on this home page or the about page we created which we can get to with forward slash about right so let's go back to the home page here and let's go ahead and add a navigation menu and so what I'm gonna do is just copy over some code that I've already got and you can pause the video as you need to to add this because you'll want to make it look identical so I'm gonna go ahead and maximize the screen here and just right over here I'm gonna add in some code so there we go just right under the body tag the opening body tag we're adding about this much code here it's about 20 lines of code we can make it a little shorter here and I'll need to clean up some of this indentation so go ahead and pause your video as you need to to make sure that you've got this kind of exactly copied over and now I'm gonna go ahead and just fix some of the indentation here so I'm gonna highlight all of this and click and then push shift tab on my screen on my keyboard and I'm just gonna move this over and that looks close enough for now okay so now let's take a look at how this shows up on our website so we, our server is running as we can see down here now when I click over here and refresh 
There we go, now we have this navigation bar at the top. Now here's the cool thing about bringing over this bootstrap navigation menu that we've brought over. Okay, so what we can do is we can go over here and shrink this down. Okay, and this is a really cool technique. And we're able to see what it would look like on a tablet or a mobile phone, okay? So when it's about as thin as it goes in Google Chrome, that's kind of what it would look like on a mobile phone. And this is probably about how wide a tablet would look in landscape view. Maybe portrait view would look like that and so on. So you can kind of resize the browser to get a sense of what your site would look like. And if it's a responsive site, you'll notice things change. So notice how this about text here, this menu item changes to something like that. Okay. So that's really cool. There's a breakpoint happening right about there where it's shifting and turning into more of a mobile view, okay? Something that would look better on a mobile view, okay? So we'll worry about that in a second, but notice that when I shrink it down and I click on this, nothing is happening. So this brings me to a really good point. Whenever you copy things over from Bootstrap, be sure to read about it. So if we read about this default nav bar that we're porting over, note that it says it requires the JavaScript plugin. So what we're going to do next is make sure that we've added that JavaScript plugin.